If you've been on YouTube for as long as I have, I'm pretty sure you, person watching this video, I'm pretty sure you recognize the phrase Elsa Gate. Now, when it comes to holy shit, no ways, I've done a really bad thing, YouTube controversy. You know, you have your lesser grooming allegations, crypto scams, content theft, all of that though, I mean, all of that, all of that's pretty mid. It's all nothing compared to Elsa Gate. You see, when I say Elsa Gate is one of, one of the biggest controversies to ever stem from YouTube, a controversy that still has effects to this day, I'm not lying. Elsa Gate, it shook, it shook the very foundations of YouTube to its core. It changed the way the website, it changed the way it had to operate as a whole. So why don't you, person watching this video, why don't you lean back in your chair, get some, I don't know, get some very cool, very epic Ninja Tyler Fortnite Blevins G Fuel. Be sure to subscribe to the big YouTube channel and leave a like on this video. And join me in revisiting one of, if not the biggest controversy in the history of YouTube. This is Elsa Gate. This shit. This shit's mental. Now, if you weren't on the internet a couple of years ago, or if you've simply just forgotten, you may be wondering, what the bloody hell is Elsa Gate? What does world-renowned character Elsa from hit kids movie, the <laughs> Snow Queen, have to do with anything? Well, in the simplest way I can describe it, you know kids YouTube, yeah? You know how, you know how some of the videos on that side of the internet are, are all a bit, uh, <laughs> ah, why are we running from a giant evil talking Ben? Elsa Gate is, or should I say was, an absolutely, absolutely fucking huge controversy step from videos like those. You see, I mean, if you person watching this video, if you were to go onto YouTube in a 2016, 2017, because you wanted to watch, I don't know, you, you wanted to watch epic MLG phase trickshot compilations, there was a good chance that in between your endless scrolling, you would have, you would have stumbled across a video like this. Now, uh, one of the main things you'll probably pick up in videos like these is, is the characters in them. You know, you got Spider-Man, Elsa, the inner machinations of Batman's mind. Uh... Why though? I mean, like, why the bloody hell? Why are characters like these in these videos? The thing with these videos is, is that it's pretty obvious that they're like aimed and marketed towards children. Because children, for, for God knows what reason, they'll, they'll watch anything. And children, they're gonna click on these videos because, simply, because they recognize these characters. Oh, and Jesus Christ, let me tell you something here, person watching this video. No joke, like no meme, no funny video game reference. Children, children watched these videos. Oh my word, they watched them. These videos got millions upon millions upon millions of views. Now, now I don't know how real these views were, but, but they're millions of views nonetheless. Now, here's some behind-the-scenes YouTuber lore, YouTube knowledge. The YouTube algorithm, it loves popular videos. If one video is getting uh, more views, more exposure than other videos, the YouTube algorithm will promote the more popular video, simply because it will make YouTube more money. Thing is, though, since these Elsagate videos were getting millions of views, they are being pushed and promoted all around YouTube. They are being shoved down everybody's throats. So when people decided to click on these videos and have a look at them out of, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe some morbid sense of curiosity. Lots of people soon realized that these videos, they weren't they weren't actually kid friendly. They were actually they were actually really bloody weird. While yeah, they had characters like Elsa, Spider-Man, Batman the Joker in them, the stuff that they had them doing in these videos, if I'm being completely honest, I don't actually think I can show it in this video. <laughs> Now, considering that these videos were, were really bloody weird, of course a bunch of people on YouTube were gonna make very cool, very epic commentary videos on them. Thing is though, I mean, well, you've probably heard me say multiple times in this video that Elsagate shook the very way YouTube had to operate as a whole. The reason why this happened is because Elsagate, it didn't just stay as like a, a commentary topic. No, Elsagate 
it went mainstream. The entire internet started talking about these videos. All of a sudden, you had news articles, news report, interviews, people saying that these videos have a negative effect on children, podcasts, in layman's terms, in the simplest way I can describe it, Elsagate. Elsa Gate was a shit show. Now, uh, obviously, since this was getting really out of hand really bloody quickly, our level 100 YouTube bosses, I mean, they had to do something. And thankfully, thankfully they did. YouTube, they updated their community guidelines to, to seemingly directly affect Elsa Gate channels. Inappropriate use of family entertainment characters. Content that depicts family entertainment characters engaged in violent sex. They didn't just do that and call it a day, though. I mean, nah, nah, nah God no. Somebody at YouTube HQ, they decided decided to press the nuclear button. A few weeks after updating the YouTube community guidelines, YouTube decided to permanently terminate 250 Elsagate channels. Thankfully, it seemed that Elsagate was over. Elsagate is no more. The good ending. Well, no, not, not, not really. There are still some really bloody weird kids videos on YouTube, but thankfully, the majority of the original Elsagate videos seem to be gone. Now, lots of people have like lots of game theories surrounding Elsagate, the lesser and more plausible of which being that all of these channels, they botted their views and, and subscribers and shit like that. And the more insane theories being that channels like these, they were all run by like pedo rings and stuff like that. Now, if you person watching this video, if you were to ask me about my theories on Elsagate, I would tell you that, well, me, I think that all of these channels were all owned by like one or, or two really big companies trying to capitalize on the mental big child YouTube audience for monetary gain. Do I have like any concrete evidence to back this up? No, it's just one of my wild theories. What I do know for certain though is the reason why these videos got so bloody weird. Now, this this is something I like to call the uh, stop, stop, it's just a prank bro phenomenon. You know how when pranking on YouTube first started, you know how like all the pranks were like tame, simplistic, all of that type of stuff. But then as like more people started creating their own very funny, very haha -ha pranks, other prank channels got really bloody big. All of the really big prank YouTubers had to like up the ante with what they were doing in order to stay. And I, I really hate the fact that I'm going to say this because it makes me sound like rice gum, but they had to up the ante in order to stay relevant. I I think this is something that happened with Elsagate videos. All of these channels, yeah, they saw that one like really weird, really strange video got like a million views and all of a sudden they all jumped on the bandwagon or tried to like outdo each other to think of like the next stupidly disturbing idea. All in all, yeah, Elsagate will go down in history as one of, if not the biggest controversy to ever come from YouTube videos. And what will also go down in history is that, well, you person watching this video, you're going to go and watch all of my other videos videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Number 15. Subscribe to the beak. If you don't, you will suffer a severe case of cringe and you are taking part in bozo behavior. Thanks for watching.